Hi, everybody. This is part two of the lesson, Revenge Procrastination. It's Revenge Bedtime Procrastination. I'm Dr. Priscilla, the CEO and founder of Speak Excellent English. So if you're watching this, I hope that you will catch part one. In part one, we went over the vocabulary terms that are used in this article, revenge, procrastination, response, resist, recreation, and decompress. So there are six vocabulary terms that I had promised that at the end of this lesson, part two, you should be able to use the words easily. Now, I'm doing this lesson without any participants, so it isn't going to be as easy to remember the words because there isn't any interaction between myself and another person. But I will go ahead and read the article. In the event you get a chance to read the article while it is online, this will definitely help with your understanding the vocabulary words, as well as listening to my voice as I read the article. Revenge, bedtime, procrastination. Revenge, bedtime, procrastination. What do you do after work? Do you find that you stay up late or do you relax? Some people prefer to remain awake and read books or play video games, even though they are tired. Have you ever heard of revenge bedtime procrastination? Bedtime procrastination was introduced in a sleep study from the Netherlands. However, in 2018, people on social media added revenge to bedtime procrastination. This was in response to China's country's 996 work culture. Simply put, people start work at 9 a.m. and finish at 9 p.m with just one day off during the week. Basically, people delayed bedtime to enjoy things of their choice. This means the people were taking revenge for the time they lost during the day at work. Research from the study revealed that people with poor self-control, with a tendency to procrastinate in general, were more likely to delay sleep without any real reason. A 2018 study revealed that the more people tried to resist doing things they endured during the day, the more likely they were to delay time for sleep. A German study suggested that bedtime procrastination might just be connected to a preferred sleep time. The study found that on work days, it was most common among night owls, people who prefer to sleep late at night, and that the behavior is not so easily explained as poor self-control. In Poland, bedtime procrastination was more common among women, students, and people who weren't employed. Additionally, bedtime procrastination decreased slightly as the population aged. One suggestion to reduce bedtime procrastination as suggested by a professor at Loma Linda University Health in California is to schedule rest times, recreation and or exercise during the day. This will eliminate or reduce the emotion of needing to do more enjoyable things before a normal bedtime. The professor suggests to start small with 10 to 15 minute breaks to help decompress and remain productive on the job. If there were actual participants interacting with me, we would have taken each paragraph and discussed the paragraph and the vocabulary in each paragraph. So in paragraph one, we have the word revenge and procrastination. When we think of the word revenge, or at least when I think of the word revenge, I believe that something harmful or something negative has happened. 
and to take revenge is to do something equally harmful or bad to the person that did the wrong. Procrastination is to put off doing something with delaying it from maybe I needed to do something yesterday, today is here and I still haven't done it. I'm still delaying, I'm still procrastinating, which means that I am putting something off resulting in procrastination. If you recall, procrastination was the person sitting in the chair doing absolutely nothing. The word revenge was the individual lying in bed looking at the cell phone. Response is the reaction to something that you've heard, something that you've seen, and in the visual that we had, it was someone was responding or making a response on the cell phone. Our next word, next word is resist. If you can recall in the image, it was an individual on the racetrack, tarmac, with something wrapped around both feet, and he was pulling with his hands, and that was demonstrating resist. Resist means to not easily conform, to be in disagreement, to resist doing something. Recreation is our next word. Recreation is something that we do usually for fun. It's a distraction. It's something that we can do instead of work. It is a more enjoyable activity. And this activity, I believe it was two girls with a tennis racket out on the tennis court. Decompress. Decompress is what we do when we perhaps go on vacation, maybe to the beach, or just any place that we can consider ourselves getting away. That is what we do when we decompress. It removes or relieves some of the stress of a work day. And we call that decompression. All right, so thanks so much for listening. If you'd like to have this lesson, post in the dialogue box and I will see if I can arrange for you to have a live session with me about this lesson. My name is Dr. Priscilla. I am a native English speaker and I live in the US. I'll post the six vocabulary words that you should be familiar with before asking me to assist you with a live lesson. Again, thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.